Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example I will be demonstrating one of the new features coming soon to Lightning Storm. This is our Smart PSD Batch. Now, under normal circumstances I would say that this is revolutionary, but I'm going to switch it up a bit. This is actually evolutionary. This will change your entire concept of how Photoshop works with outputting your specific environment. So let's take a look. Now, under normal circumstances we found that many designers may have up to 15 different PSDs, and that's a random number. It could be any number. And these PSDs are related to either either a single project or multiple projects. Now currently with Export Kit what you would have to do is open up each individual PSD, tab to our export, select your environment and customize and then run the export itself. Now although Export Kit is lightning fast <laughs> Uh, what will happen is that if you have a lot of PSDs this can actually take a fair bit of time opening each PSD and then running an individual export. So this is Export Kit. We plan to save you time. One of our new features now, our Smart PSD Batch, what we can do is basically select a folder and then what we can do with this now is we can actually export each PSD file from this folder using one single batch. So let's go ahead and let's take a look how we can do that. Once our folder is selected, what we can do is create our options file. Now our options file is reflective of our exports panel and the various options that we have enabled. So for instance, we have our layer options and our output options, as well as we also have our individual customized per environment. So our options file will allow us to edit each of these individual properties. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the actual options file itself. So with our options file, you'll see that we have a few properties that are actually coming soon. These will be enabled shortly, but this is just a preview of what is to come. What you can do though is you can modify each of the individual properties that are within the exports panel. So for instance, the type, the align, include images, etc. Now we're not going to go into this in too much detail simply because we are going to explain this on the website. So what we're going to do is change a few properties so that we can export an HTML5 output for each of the PSD files. So let's change the type. The align. Let's also make sure we include folders, which is uh, the same thing as relative positions. Now, once we save our options, let's go back to our PSD and let's run the batch. Now, what Export Kit will do is it will basically export each individual PSD located in that folder. Now, there are more features to come, including a better log. We note that our export log does not work perfectly for the batch processing, simply because you may want to have access to more information. So, we may change our log in the future, but this is currently how it works. It will simply give you a complete log of all the individual PSDs that you export. Now, there are a few rules that we may implement uh, for the actual live beta. What will happen is that we don't want users running 24-hour batches. So we are going to put limits onto the number of batches that you can run uh, per hourly segment. It may be an hour or two hours. But this is just to ensure that you don't overload the server with a single batch, just to make sure other users can also experience export kit. So we're just going to let the batch complete. It should almost be finished. And then once it's finished, we're going to take a look at the output files. So this is at 4 or 5. Once the batch is complete we can take a look at the output. So if we go back to our export folder and we go to our FTML, you'll see that it created the skins per actual PSD file. Now this is relative basically if the PSD has skins applied to it. Now each of these don't but this is just the folder it creates. The, uh, pending images that are in your PSD. So if we take a look at the actual HTML files and we're just going to demonstrate these simply because uh, you can view many other tutorials as to how these actually export. So let's take a look at the shapes. Exported well. Uh, text. Exported well. So you'll see now that basically we were able to export multiple PSD projects from a single batch file using export kit. So this is coming soon, you'll be able to work even less. Why export one when you can export eh, a couple hundred? Well, we'll see how it goes.